Bear in mind, once again, that whatever Hank says goes. He is an impartial third party. On the one hand, this copier is very old. You should see some of the new copiers they have. You would not believe what they do. So the copier. Well, let me finish. All right, yes. Now the chairs. The chairs are very weak, very weak chairs. I could not sit all day in this chair. Well, what should I do? Let me see the copier again. All right, get out, get out. Okay, so now you're sure that everything is okay, you know, down there. You're perfectly healthy. That man has the largest penis I have ever seen. I actually don't even know if he has mumps. Forgot to look. I was distracted by the largest penis I have ever seen. This melipnos. Oh, boy. NYPD, sir. Have you seen anything unusual today? Oh, no. This was nice, thank you. Wait, wait, wait. What is this music? Oh, this is from my country, uh, near Krakagovia. Do you like it? I weirdly do. See, Amy? Fun thing about working cases, you meet people from all over the world. This song is a celebration song for when a dog loses its virginity. <laughs> Who checks that? Maybe. I'm gonna get down the ground! Now! <laughs> get down, get down, get down! Touch the ground! Or get out! I calm down. Do what I say, nobody gets hurt. This is what I'm trained for. I'm gonna start killing somebody every minute, unless. Unless you agree to marry me, Cheyenne. Hit it! Hey, what the f? Oh! Also, Daryl, FYI, I already told this to Andy, but uh, you should probably know, I technically don't have a hearing problem. It's just when there's a lot of noises. Nate! Please. Thank you. You have no business education. You were gonna take classes under D'Angelo. What happened to that? He died. He didn't die, his brain died. And my brain is still very much alive. And I'd be happy to give you business classes. How come you haven't asked me about it? What was, what was the last, I'm having. No, no part of this has anything to do with you. Councilman, I'd like to talk to you about the fun in the sun bill, and I don't mean to rush you, but the vote is in an hour. Oh, when I'm done eating, we'll talk. I've eaten the same lunch for 58 years. Caesar salad, extra dressing, extra croutons, and extra anchovies. Mm. Councilman Milton was first elected as a city councilor in 1948 as a member of the Dixiecrat Party. Their platform, deintegrate baseball. The secret is in the dressing. Try it. It's an aphrodisiac. You too, my strange foreign friend. No, thank you. Tom, eat some. I'm not eating racist salad. The more we eat, the faster we talk. Mmm. You can really taste the ignorance. It's pronounced anchovies. We're gonna kidnap a cop, but not just any cop. It needs to be someone so high-ranking that it sends shockwaves through the system, but not important enough that their absence negatively impacts the NYPD in any way. What are you guys thinking? We're clearly all looking at you. Oh God, am I in charge of the meeting? Dismissed. Dismissed. No, you're getting kidnapped, CJ. Oh. Amy Charles and I will be the kidnappers. Captain Holt is the driver. Here's how it'll go down. Approaching the target. All right, let's do this. Masks on. Actually, scratch that. We're not gonna use ski masks. We'll use cool rubber masks. Ooh, we should be the ladies of the First Wives Club. I call Keaton. We're not gonna do First Wives Club masks. Just because you can't be Keaton? Grow up, Jake. No, because they don't exist. And also, yeah, Keaton is clearly the coolest one, and I don't think it's really fair that you just called her. Don't forget it, we'll wear scary gorilla masks. Approaching the target. Okay, let's do this. Masks on. When CJ goes to get his morning coffee, we will arrive and grab him. He will pretend to struggle just enough to attract attention. Help! Help! I'm gonna write this down so I remember my lines. I can see that you already have the word milk written on your hand. I know where this is going. Milk! Milk! Hi, guys. Hey. Uh, does everyone know my boyfriend, Bob Vance? Kevin Malone. Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration. Stanley Hudson. Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration. Ryan Howard. Bob Vance, Vance Refrigeration. What line of work you in, Bob? This is Dr. Leo Spachemin. 
Hi, I work with Tracy Jordan, and I think he's having a reaction to some of the medication you put him on. Ugh, I was afraid this might happen. You know, he's on so many different neuroleptics and tricyclics that there's no telling how they'll mix. But what can you do? Medicine's not a science. Well, what exactly are you treating him for? Uh, there's not really a name for what Tracy has. Basically, it's erratic tendencies and delusions brought on by excessive notoriety. And certainly not helped by my wildly experimental treatments. <laughs> Boy, I'm being awfully open with you, miss. I should not have taken those blue things. Financial analysis, automated general ledger accounting systems, audit management. Hmm. You've done everything. Well, they call me the Swiss Army accountant. <laughs> they don't call me that. They should. Well, look, I think you'd be a great addition. Would you be willing to come back to meet the division head? Yes, absolutely. We'll set that up. Okay. Great. Thank you. Well, uh, calculator. <laughs> oh, you like that one, huh? We do not get a lot of humor here, and when we do, it's wonderful. Oh. Ted, come in here! Say it to Ted when he comes in. I'm gonna say 30. Ah, uh, 40. Insect repellent, which we clearly need, reduces the effectiveness of SPF. Good point, but thought of that already. Combination SPF repellent. Whoa. Come in? Of course. You think the EPA would ever allow that much DEET? Ah. <laughs> Rolf is my best friend. We met in a shoe store. I heard him asking for a shoe that could increase his speed and not leave any tracks. Six to six. It's a nail biter. Kevin! Now it's seven six, or is that too much accounting for you? Here's an accounting question for you. What is one fiance plus one lover equal? Answer, one whore. Okay, knock it off, Rolf. What? She's sitting there casting Rolf, aspersions please. on you. Oh, wait a I am asking nicely. Oh, you don't Rolf, mean that. Leave it alone. We need to keep the line moving. We have a lot of hungry, angry people out there. Oh, you can just say hangry now. It's a new word. My friend's cousin made it up. I'll take rolls, veggies, and condiments. You start slicing the meat. Slicing the meat. Oh, sweet. Always wanted to work this bad boy. Not totally sure how it works. Just um, load the meat and then slice the meat. Definitely. I'm um, a quick study, so oh, I cut myself. Already? Well, maybe I should do. Marcus, that looks really bad. Just a nick. It looks worse than it is. Kind of stings a little. <gasps> Marcus, is that your thumb? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? Why don't you check? I don't want to. Marcus, check. I don't want to. To see if your thumb is on your hand. <laughs> 